So Vin, excuse me, Vin and Michelle, and um, we actually had a three-way text last week, and you guys are fr- good friends with Bob McIntosh, right? Yes. Yeah. So a lot of you guys might know Bob. Um, his dad, Robert McIntosh, was was on with us about a month ago or so. And if you guys remember, you can go back and watch the recordings. Of course, we do all the recordings of the private uh, the Money Club Mondays on the YouTube channel at Private Money Club. So you can go watch that playlist of the, of the past ones. And Robert McIntosh was on last month talking about how to identify and avoid common scams like like wire fraud and and things of that nature which was really good it's important when it comes to this business of private money lending understanding that and then bob his son bob um i've known now for a while uh bob is good friends with my friends noah and christy and, and does a lot with them at the re-up events he's worked with chris noggle for years I, I know they used to do a lot with flip out academy shoot 10 years ago he was from buffalo but bob considers himself more of a nomad now but just an awesome guy yeah. he does a lot of marketing and, and website design and and click and, and landing pages and i don't know bob's in all kinds of cool stuff so he does some really neat things so check out bob but um you know they're telling me you know he's telling me that vin and michelle he's known them for a while and and then the more I asked around, I started hearing, you know, people know who you guys are. So that's awesome. I love having great people in the club. So I'm excited right now. It's my first time meeting you all. So I'm excited to introduce, you know, who you are, what you guys got going on and uh, see if we can make some magic happen as we say here today. So with that being said, we're going to start with Vin and Michelle, and then we will get into some other training as time permits. And like I said, if anybody has any questions or anything, put them out there. But um, but Vin and Michelle, what's up, guys? Thanks for being here. Thank you so much for the opportunity to be able to speak to the group. Been part of PNC since October when there was a big launch. So uh, kind of follow Chris around, um, part of our mastermind. So we're part of Boardroom. We are also part of uh, Residential assisted living the Rala group um Bob McIntosh is actually how we met and uh, and since then we're engaged uh because of him <laughs> no way awesome yeah. well congratulations that's super cool. all right yeah, so, so literally making magic happen but it wasn't on private money club it was through through Bob okay, okay. yeah so it was about a year ago um but we uh and and Bob senior has actually been a mentor of mine as well so some of the deals that we actually have um, are due to Bob being creative um, and being able to give opportunities uh, for the PMC group as well. So all of our deals um, that are current right now, we do have a couple under contract, are in the actual uh, um, online already in the system. Um, The main ones that I do want to talk about uh, are, there's two that I have, one that's going to be in the construction um, that would be a second lien opportunity for $60,000 for nine months. Um, and then the others are micro loans, which I do see a lot of people that I've been able to speak with. They're learning about that. And it's basically leveraging the loans of the cash flow that we currently have. And these properties are already producing. I am more than happy to get on the phone with anyone. Just message us through PMC and I walk you through what we have. But a little bit about us is I'm a former contractor. Um, I started my um, construction business and real estate business back in South Florida in Miami. Um, and Vin started his um, back in California, um, back in the back in 0708. So, so yeah. I have experience of the good and the bad. I know what it's like to get kicked in the teeth when things are bad. So, you know, if anybody that was smart that actually learned from that, that's still in the business, I think says a lot because it definitely helps pivot this time around. Yeah. And we talk about that a lot on here, you know, just the importance of when you're you're working with a borrower that they do have, they understand, you know, the bad with the good. And, and over the last few years, I mean, it seems like you could almost throw, you know, a dart at the wall and find a good deal. And it's becoming tougher now. And, you know, and then as time goes on, different exit strategies and understanding you need to be able to pivot and, you know, experiencing something firsthand it's hard to beat that experience. I mean, I love you guys are part of boardroom. You've trained with, you know, Robert, you've, you've had mentors, you've been following Chris and, and Bob. And so that's awesome. And, but being able to actually firsthand that experience, Vin, uh, of being through 0708, I mean, it's hard to beat that kind of experience. So I love that part about it. Yeah. And so, um, so I've done over 500 flips for other investors um, about seven years ago. And then in 2021 is when I started to invest in our own deals. I moved from South Florida to Texas. So our main uh, business right now is in San Antonio, Texas, where we provide uh, midterm rentals. So we are a buy and hold business. 
So we do the short-term Airbnbs as well as midterm rentals. So a lot of our deals, if you partner with us, you will understand that we're purchasing them to be able to, and how you would get paid back is through uh, our refinance. So our goal this year is to be able to have full private money as a first lien position, as well as a second lien or all the gap funding and or the construction. And typically our uh, what we look at are anywhere from cosmetics, so um, anywhere from thirty to forty about forty five thousand dollars in cosmetic works, and it takes us about forty five to sixty days to get the full uh, transaction done um, in regards to construction. Last year, I was able to uh, get nineteen properties under our belt in one year and successfully get those out onto the market into our business side of it. So we do know what we're doing. Um, We do like to partner with individuals that are just getting started. Um, And we do have little different entry barriers with our investors in regards to that. And what I mean by that is some people want to just lend money and not learn about the process. And some of our investors want every single stage and learn and how did we get it? What are we doing? And we're more than happy right now at this stage to be able to guide our our, um, private money lenders on that. So that's a little bit different from others. Um, And we have, you know, different things as far as uh, making sure that they're utilizing the PMC way um, and the proper way, because I know some people think just, hey, let me get you the money and let me write you a check to your bank account. So we follow all the protocols of what needs to be done as far as title and so forth. And we also use a lot of self-directed IRAs um, as well if you're doing that or obviously the whole life policy. So we're very familiar with that as well and what that looks like. So that's just a little bit about us. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, that, that's a huge help too. I mean, understanding, you know, different types of money and sources of where it's coming from, because we do have a lot of newer lenders on private money club and, you know, people that love the idea and the concept, they understand it. But like, you know, when it comes to the actual how to, what exactly does that look like? And, you know, we have like an accelerator coaching program starting in a couple of weeks that, you know, shows people those exact steps and how to communicate with you as the borrower to help the lenders with that part. But, you know, just having kind of that that, that, you know, learning as you do it type, you know, that you guys can help them with also, it sounds like it, it's hard to put a price on that. So not only do they get the good returns, but they get that education from you since you've done it before and understand the different areas of, you know, what's it look like coming from a self-directed and using a direction of investment form versus, you know, let's take a loan from a policy and lend it that way or whatever the case might be. Um, so I, I love that part, Michelle. That's that's really cool. Um, now, do you guys want to share your screen and we can kind of show you some of the deals you guys have up on Private Money Club or any projects you're working on? I, I can pull it up if you want and you can just talk through it. Whatever's easier for you. I didn't know if you had anything that you wanted to pull up. We do. I do have um, we have a couple of soft commits on our micro loans. So but my immediate need of what we're looking for, we had it um, posted out during the holidays, um, but we were working. Um, it's actually a property that uh, we currently own. Um, it was inherited, um, but is our Norwood. That's the main one that right now it should be here. We're looking for someone to be in second lien position on this. We're turning this from a two one into a three two. We are looking actually by next week to start doing the construction on this. So we do have a first lien position already on it. So we are seeking a second lien unless someone does want to become first lien, then it is a higher, you know, as far as buy-in. This is our immediate need. Um, I did have it posted out. We, I, just in case anybody sees it, we posted it in February. This is a house that we have in our portfolio already. Um, that we've inherited through family. So that's why it's not that it hasn't been a good deal or anything of that nature. We just wanted to make sure the legal paperwork was taken care of, which we have it all done where the heirs and my grandmother that has passed away since um, no longer owns it. And now we're we're good to go with the attorney. So um, it had been out on PMC for a minute, but that's the only reason So if you guys have any questions, please let us know. We're looking to get this done into construction um, and be out um, within 90 days because there is a little bit more construction of of what we're doing here. But feel free to give us a call on this. We're seeking second position, $60,000. And we are looking for at least six months on this. All the information's in there. So that's our immediate need right now. Um, I just want to make sure they have your cell phone. So you guys can reach out to it, it, right now. I think your account is under Michelle on PMC. Is that right? So you can reach out to Michelle on PMC or they'll provide their, their uh, phone number here. You can call. There you go. Perfect. Then so you can call and or, um, or text them to connect. And then um, so I guess here's a question. 
a couple of questions that are coming in. So and then, yeah, that's what we're under right here under Michelle and Vin in PMC. Oh, perfect. Okay, cool. And then who would be, um, who, who's in the first lien position on that one? If, if so, the person would be in the second. Um, so we do have a hard money lender in the first lien position here in uh, Texas that we utilize quite often. Okay. And then, so you'd have, to, so you're looking for on that one, a second lien position of 60,000 for about six months. Correct. And then how are you going to cash that out at the end of six months? Are you refinancing? So we are refinancing. That is correct. Yes. Okay. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. I think it's done. You're going to keep it in your rental portfolio. That is, yes. This will be a short-term rental. Um, does anybody have any questions on this deal right here? So I guess just one more time, if you want to run, maybe just run through the numbers. So it's, um, yeah. So this particular property right now, we're seeking 60, uh, it's a uh, 158 is the first lien position with 60,000 as far as the, the rehab, which would be the second lien is what we're looking for current right now. And this is current market comps. It's at 265. Um, we do have, if I, there is someone interested, I can show you when we do the rezoning, which we will be that we actually have a lot more equity, but I went ahead and just went off of what the single family currently is because we do have a three, two in the front that we're, uh, that's converted. And then we do have an ADU in the back. So if people are familiar with like the California, um, and Texas is getting big right now with ADUs, you actually can, um, you do get more as far as the comps. All that information is uploaded, but if you want some additional information, I can run the numbers with you. Um, on this particular deal, I did see a question in there. We are not looking for an equity standpoint in this deal, just uh, on this particular one, but we do do that with other deals that we do have in our pipeline. So uh, one thing I would, I have done, if I haven't, if you're on here and I haven't spoken with you, I have had that first conversation with individuals. We, this is what we do full time. So we pick about two to three deals up per month. Um, so if this deal doesn't work for you, let's start get on the phones and let's still have a conversation so I can see what you're comfortable with and what you're looking for. And when we do have that deal, we could definitely uh, look into partnering up at that time. That's the best part on here is developing those relationships and being able to, hey, if this one doesn't fit, you know, there's always the next one coming down the road. That's the kind of borrower it's good to work with because you're going to spend your time anyways, kind of, you know, learning about somebody and deciding if you're going to do business with them or not. So to me, it's like if, you know, you guys are doing more than one deal every six months, you know, something like that, then it's worth the time to get to know you better. Because even if the first one doesn't fit, you know, your needs as a lender, you know, you guys probably have something else coming down the pipeline pretty quickly where it's worth my time to spend and to get to know you. So just something, you know, that I'm always thinking about, you know, in the, on the lender side and, and I try and use these as a teaching, you know, opportunities for everybody. So hopefully you guys are thinking that way when, you know, they're talking about this stuff. Yeah, I would say, I would say hundred percent. I mean, that's, that's my passion and love for real estate. And I think it's hers too, because to me, it's like speed dating. So it's, it's not like a, it's not a marriage. If it doesn't work after one, then you part ways and the deal's done. So there's always opportunities. So again, anybody that wants to talk or communicate or ask any questions, the direct number for both Michelle and I, 210 nine four zero zero one one two once again two one zero nine four zero zero one one two and again you can call or text us there with any questions or any way we can help yeah and i do see some of the questions uh i don't know is it okay Stephen, that we answer them or yeah, absolutely okay. please yeah. um so the main market right now we are yes focused in san antonio we are looking as far as on the contracting side, I'm here, I'm able to touch it, I'm able to make sure that it's done. Um, we will be expanding um, soon, but not at this time. But we do do other deals. We, like I said, we have a transactional business, you probably see our board back here. So we do do whole, some wholesale deals. But as far as for our personal portfolio, currently right now, we are in the San Antonio market. Um, and then Claudia asked, would you share what is your personal contributions on these deals? Absolutely just depending on what the deal is. So typically we will put in the gap funding or and or we will be the ones that would be doing the sweat equity here, um, managing the project. So we don't ever get paid until after all our lenders get paid out and then we'll cut our profits. So it's always typically after the, this. I hope that answers your question. And then I talked about the equity package on this deal. We're not looking for this particular one. Um, and then the interest back onto this particular deal, uh, we are looking at 12% annualized. So if you are utilizing your whole life policy, you actually make more than that. But um, that's something that, you know, Stephen's teaching you guys. 
Yeah, so. definitely. And are, are you guys, how do you, do you guys like to pay interest um, up front or monthly or at the end or? I mean, everything's negotiable. Correct. If you're asking us, I'd rather do it on the back end. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure. It, okay. We really, it, it's it's the comfortability and the relationship we have. Some of our relationships that we've built, um, you know, they'll do, they trust us enough, but we understand coming into PMC, it's really learning. Um, so I've had those conversations. It's really where we feel both comfortable. Um, so it is, you know, it's, that's what I love about real estate. It's up for, you know, negotiation for us to have that conversation. We just, we're looking to really be able to not just do, like you mentioned earlier, not just one deal, all you know, what we've had so far, the people we've partnered with last year, they've all re-injected their, um, their their earnings and interest into new deals. So they've rolled over those deals. And that's what we're looking for. All right. So you got a bunch of bunch of stuff there and you guys can find the more details on Private Money Club for that one. Is that the is that the one deal right now you're looking, you're focusing on getting funded? Yes. Like I said, I have a couple of the other deals here that we've had verbal commits um, from some people in PMC and others, but we haven't had anything on cited on the dotted line yet. So um, again, there's different entry levels that we have in these properties. So feel free to reach out to us and we'll get on a call this week with you guys to talk a little bit more if there's a specific deal that you guys are very interested in. Yeah. Do, do you have anything um, with these micro loans? What, what does one of those look like? I'm just curious. Can we run through one just to get an example? Yeah. So on the micro loans, these particular properties, um, they are, so the way that we um, do our construction. So this is one of our properties that we have currently right now in our midterm. Obviously you see that it has already staged. So when I do the construction coming from a construction background, what we do is we have three phases in our, our portfolio. Our first phase is to be able to get the best ARV and get it up and going to get into our business side to the point that we could get it cash out refied um, or get it into a refinance. And so on these particular ones, we've done that, but there were some things that we need to do some renovations on that we need to in the property. So this specific one, we have to actually, you actually see it in this picture. We have to go in and do a whole AC duct and renovation. So it doesn't disturb the people that are in there, but we are seeking funds for this uh, to be able to do the additional renovations. So with the um, the private money that we're looking for on the thirty thousand, it it would be a micro loan to for us to do some additional renovations on there. These properties are already in our portfolio, cash flowing, but we do we're in the second phase of getting things done. One of our other properties, we're having to do all the windows. As everyone knows, windows are expensive, so we're happy to get that, and that's what we're looking at. Any of these micro loans do not exceed what the bank would offer us, right? So usually they'll give you a, an 80% LTV of what your home is at. All of these particular loans are around 73 to 75. Anyone that is interested in these particular loans, I'll show you what our mortgage is, right? And I'll show you, and we obviously can run comps. So the numbers, so you understand it. If you guys need a little bit more information, if you're not familiar with that, but just to let you guys, we're not over leveraging these properties by any means. So I just want to make that clear. Yeah. I mean, so if you look at it from a bank's perspective, which if you're a lender, I mean, you're spot on, Michelle, with that. I mean, you're going to look at, you know, what's the first mortgage, how much equity is in that property? The same thing that a bank does when they give a HELOC, just as an easy right. example of that. I mean, that's essentially what a micro loan is, is a HELOC, but it's just using private money, which again, we go back to why use private money. It's easier, it's faster, it's time sensitive. Um, it's helping a lender as opposed to going to the banks. It's um, being able to do multiple deals at once. I mean, as you guys see, you have what, five or six different micro loans available right now if somebody wanted. So it's just allowing you guys to get more done quicker, you know, without without dealing with all that. The same thing is on the front end of doing flips and, you know, getting using private money as opposed to banks. Same exact thing is just using the equity. So so that's cool, man. That's good. That's great. I love it. I love you guys are doing that. You know, Dwight and Brandon do a lot of that also. If you go on Private Money Club and right now and look, it's the exact same concept. Yep. Love Dwight. That's where I got it from. <laughs> okay, cool. All right. Dwight's I know you guys part, are both in boardroom. So I yeah, he's I part of boardroom. <laughs> well, it was him and Bob Sr. Bob Sr. is like, Michelle, you have, uh, you know, you have equity in your property. Some of our properties, we have up to 100,000 in equity. Yeah. He's like, instead of going out and getting these high interest rates, you know, locked in at 30 years, why don't we do, why don't you do micro loans? And that's why. And help other people. And help other people yeah. make money as well. So. Yeah, I love it. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a great thing way to do things. I love all of our borrowers. Don't get me wrong, but you know, people like you guys that come in with you know an education and you have the right mentors and you're learning from the right people. 
you know, from my side, that just it puts you, you know, up there. So it's it's really cool to see that. Well, Stephen, I, I'll tell you this much, and I think it was a mental block for both of us very early in our careers that we had to get over the fact that it wasn't us asking for a favor. It was a win-win relationship to where somebody's got to put their money to work and it's it benefits both sides. And once we thought that way, then things got a lot easier. So just for anybody that's that's kind of, you know, on the fence with the same scenario, you're not asking for a favor, you're helping somebody. Perfect. Great. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate you giving us the opportunity. Um, you know, I know that I actually was speaking to another PMC um, lender, uh, lender, and he had mentioned about these calls. So we're excited to be here and excited to be able to have the opportunity to be able to present um, our, our deals to you guys. Yeah, well, thanks for being a member. We appreciate you being here and, and helping out and answering questions. I mean, that's such a, a big part of it. And again, like you can't I can't stress the importance of learning from people that actually have done things and are doing it and are in it every single day. I mean, as the market changes, what what are you guys seeing? If, what, what is the market looking like in San Antonio right now? I'm just curious myself. So um, we had about a 30% um, increases in regards to the whole bubble, kind of, so to speak, in your March, your maze. Um, we're still at a 20% above what the market is. So we haven't seen a lot of difference in what other markets are looking at. So what we're doing to position ourselves, and it's, well, this was a plan before too, because you always have to pivot within it, is doing a lot of seller finance deals and sub twos. That's why we were, I was telling you the elephants that were in the back were part of the elephant challenge and so forth. So we're looking a lot of more transactional as well. Um, that's why some people were asking, um, we're doing wholesale deals in other areas. Um, but last year, my main goal was to get our, our, to get a foundation and to get these, um, you know, these properties up and going. So our focus this year is a little bit different in regards to the ARVs and pricing. Obviously, they've gone down a little bit, but they're not. We haven't seen that much indifference. When we when we analyze our deals, we're making sure that we're we're really following that 70 percent ARV and maybe even less than that. So the only way we can do that is to be able to go out there and get these pre foreclosure deals and distressed properties. Yeah, absolutely. Very cool. I've always liked San Antonio market. I used to work with a guy, Armando Montalongo down there. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> he a crazy, crazy reputation, I think, but uh, he's- so uh, we, Yeah, we thought he disappeared, but we just looked him up and he's he's active again in San Antonio, which is great. Um, I will tell you this, San Antonio is definitely one of the fastest growing cities in the country right now because those damn Californians and New Yorkers are coming into San Antonio. <laughs> and I'd be, I'd be one of them. I came from California. So construction here- they can't keep up. The freeways are not being built fast enough for the influx of people. So there's a big need of, of housing and movement and all that other stuff. So it's a hot market. So again, anybody that's looking for something, this is a prime area to be putting money to work. I, I love it, man. It's You got the whole Riverwalk area down there and everything. It's just a beautiful place. And then um, you're close to Austin too. What's Austin about an hour, hour and a half? Six, 60, 67 miles. We're 67. Yeah. Miles yeah. yeah. And so. Austin is a, it's, that's a really crazy market. Is it, right now, San Antonio is becoming that corridor in between. Um, and I was born and raised here. I moved back here 13, uh, one year ago from 13 years. So uh, living in Miami, coming back here is uh, it, I just, everything is just totally different. I'm, I'm a newbie here. Um, you know, we've been here about, about a year ago, December of this past year was a year. So um, I'm liking it. Like I said, we're going to continue to be growing our portfolio here, but um, San Antonio is a pretty stable market. Like I said, we do the midterm rental side of it. So a lot of our people are from the military that are coming in or like uh, corporate housing. So there's a lot of people moving here um, because of it's cheaper in land and stuff from other places. All right. Awesome. I, I your, your, your company name or your, your, your full names, I guess just somebody's wanting to know. Yeah. So M MD Legacy Investments. Um, if you're looking to be a private money lender, um, that's where you can start to see a little bit about our company and our experience. Our business side is legacy crash pads. If you're wanting to see what our properties look like out on the business side and the midterm rentals, if you're wanting to book something there, but you get as a private money lender, a little bit of both sides of the exposure. Yeah. So we'll put that in there. Just And Mark Perry, I just saw your statement. Thank you very much. It, it's kind words is all I can say. So <laughs> that's great. Yeah. And then Mark was also just asking why not get a HELOC on the property as opposed to using private money and 
I mean, you guys can answer that, but Mark, for me, it's just the same. I mean, it's the same stuff, you know, why use private lenders in a flip instead of the bank? It's the ease of the money. It's working with an individual, not the banking system. It's time, you know, time sensitive, private money you can do in a few days. Banks in their <laughs> best world, it's going to be four to six weeks. I mean, there's just a bunch of little reasons like that. Plus doing multiple projects. Sometimes banks will frown upon multiple deals going on. You get stuck into the commercial world, which is a whole nother, you know, so private money just becomes a lot easier at that point. So it's worth the extra few percentage points um, to access. And a lot of times it's short-term anyways. I mean, all these micro loans look like they're about six months. Do you guys have anything longer term? Do you have anything you're looking for somebody like longer? Absolutely. I actually had a private money lender that was like, I want to be with, he's more look working on the mentor side too, but he's like 12 months. I'm like, okay, that's fine. You know, obviously it's more money out of our, but we're willing to do that. Right. So um, we are open to that. We just make sure, cause we have our interview process as well, that these individuals, um, and this is something you'll appreciate um, that, you know, are you utilizing um, a whole life policy? Do you have your LLC in place? Can you part from the money for nine months? Um, we won't bring any, anybody on if it's yeah. their rent money. I mean, we just, we, yeah, we, 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 <laughs> we told people no. So we got to, yeah. it's, it's, we get interviewed and we do the interviewing as well. It's got to make sense both ways. And if somebody's, Hey, this is my last $25,000, just put it to work. I, I need to make some money. I'm like, well, if this is it, then no, I can't take in good conscience. We won't take the money. Yeah. Right. So, no, that's awesome. I love you guys. Yeah. All right. So, Stephen, I have one last question. And yes, then we'll be up. when are you going to become one of our lenders? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get, I get asked that quite frequently, but I will. Um, I mean, it, it's on a recorded call. So <laughs> <laughs> I will definitely look at that. Uh, I will definitely look at that. If only I had enough money to lend to everybody on Private Money Club. That'll be the day. One of these days, we'll see. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I feel like personally, though, like not a recommendation, but I personally would feel very comfortable lending to both of you with my own personal funds. So I'll leave it at that. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Yeah, and if I know that you mentioned Bob McIntosh, if anybody's following him, I did do a podcast with him a couple of months ago. If you want to kind of just check that out. Um, and then you'll also start to see I'm getting out of my own way to be able to start, you know, getting more exposure online and stuff like that. So I have done private money. Um, if you go onto our YouTube channel, uh, I just did. Why do you use private money? Um, so I was interviewed by somebody else in regards to that. So, yeah, that's awesome. I don't know Bob's podcast link. Uh, the show. Do you remember? Um, I don't know. I just know I was on it. <laughs> I have to find out my social media. I'll, yeah. I'll find it in a minute, guys. I'll put it in the chat box in a minute. I'll find it once we, we get rolling here. Um, no, that's awesome, Michelle. And, and thanks again for coming on, you guys. And definitely come back soon. Next deal you have, whatever, come back. Let's talk about it. And uh, yeah, you're great on camera and keep the podcast. I mean, we've done that a lot. Just, you know, we, we learned a lot about how to put content out there. And the biggest thing is just consistency. Like maybe do a weekly show for all your investors. And I mean, it's good communication anyways, building that relationship. And we're going to teach a lot of that stuff in like the accelerator coaching program. And so if anybody's looking to get into that, but it's, you know, you're, you're doing it right now. So it's cool to see. Thank you so much. Yes, definitely. All right. Awesome. Well, y'all have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. We'll stay on. There you go. Call us. How do I make you guys see that? Let me see if I can pin that. Was that up the whole time, Michelle and Vin? I don't know if it was. I'm gonna I'm gonna highlight it though because I think it's funny. No, no, it wasn't up. I just figured I gotta maximize the opportunity. All right, there you go. I love it. There we go. Can you guys see that now? <laughs> there you go. See, they're on the ball, man. They're creating stuff as we're going. Michelle and Vin, one more time. Thank you for being here. There thank you, you go. for it's having us on. Yeah, Absolutely. man, definitely. Thank you. It was great. Great to meet you both. You guys are awesome. Um, awesome to have in the club. We look forward to working with you for years to come. Yeah, hundred percent. Right. Absolutely. Having our number out here, we've already started getting calls and texts from people. So again, thank you for the opportunity. Cool guys. All right.